everyone, it's me, X Canada. and today we are at Sonic Drive-In, which is a restaurant here in America. It's one of my favorite ones, and they have doll-sized versions of all of their iconic menu items, and this isn't sponsored. I've just been in love with this restaurant since I was a child, um, so I just ordered 10. You can buy them without purchase. They're only a dollar each, which is actually amazing, considering what mini brands actually cost. Uh, and I'm starting with 10 for now. I don't actually know how many different ones there are. Uh, but it was very awkward. Oh, look, 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 look. There's an ad. <laughs> you can't see it. Oh, no. You can get skates, conies and tots, visors. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at it. Yeah, so we are getting that. Hopefully we get the try. But see, they're like a So social. for some reason, this is the busiest Sonic in the entire union. So we wait. Um, but I was planning to order a bunch of kids meals and just eat like five hot dogs So this works a lot better because when I worked at McDonald's when there was a popular Happy Meal toy We weren't allowed to sell them separately. So <laughs> this is best case scenario I will see you when we get the toys Brett has retrieved the 10 five surprise toys. Let's see. So are they single packs, you think? Oh, <gasps> they come with two things, I think. Or maybe they each come with like a tray or a bag or something. I don't know, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. They were only a dollar each. Are you excited? Yes. Are you? I'm so excited. <laughs> um, we also got food. Um, that's my slunchie. That's Brett's. I got grape nerds. Hopefully there's nerds in it because sometimes they just straight up forget your nerds and it breaks your soul as a person. Um, and he got cherry. Yay. Yay. I don't think I have a straw. Okay, goodbye. Hey everyone, it's me, x Dances, and today I went to Sonic Drive-In to pick up some goodies for my dolls. Now, this is unusual. I don't normally find anything for my dolls at fast food restaurants, but today the bounty was great. So the current Wacky Pack, which is the Sonic Drive-In Kids Meal, is five surprise mini brands. And not only are these mini brands that you're getting as fast food toys, which is really fun and exciting, but these are actually Sonic themed ones. So you get Sonic menu items as your mini brands. And I'm so excited about this. So if you guys don't know what this is, it's, I think I'm pretty confident it's only in the US, but specifically in the Southern US, it was very popular in Texas. It was absolutely everywhere. And there's only a couple where I live now and they're all extremely busy all the time. I waited almost 30 minutes for these, um, but I am so excited about these. And um, Five Surprises actually, the next mini brand set is called Foodies and it's a bunch of different restaurants. A lot of them are strange choices. Like White Castle is a iconic restaurant, at least to me, because my dad is from Ohio, but I feel like it's very uh, geographically isolated from most humans like most people have never been to white castle but i guess they're in grocery stores i don't know but i am so excited about these and the rainbow high dolls are too they've always wanted to try happy hour slushies and i went during happy hour and i got a grape nerd slushy they discontinued green apple for some reason um so what i'm noticing already is that it seems like these are numbered which is kind of annoying actually um that means that they're not actually like surprises but let's see hopefully they gave me different ones uh, I already have two 17s, but that's okay. Um, we're just going to open them in a random order. So first, I guess maybe if your Sonic people aren't super busy, you could ask them for a specific one. Uh, so this is number 11, and let's see what we got. These are marked as Mega Minis, so I'm kind of scared they're going to be too big for the dolls. I hope that they are not. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. So this is your mini Wacky Pack bag. <laughs> I swear, is this a... Is this just me misremembering or are they, no, I don't know this new mascot thing that they have going on here, this like poker chip or something, or I guess it's a mint. They used to give, give you mints all the time. It's probably a mint. That would make sense. Um, they used to be called wacky packages, right? Am I crazy? Okay. And then let's see which mini we got. Okay. So this is the one that I don't care at all about. So number 11, avoid. Um, it's just a huge roller skate. I mean, it's cute, but I don't really have a use for this and it doesn't fit the dolls. I mean, you could carve it out maybe, but it's still enormous. It's cute though. And as a Sonic Drive-In mega fan, it's worth it. 
Anyway, all right, next is number 17. So we just did number 11, now we're doing 17. I'm not gonna remember all these, to be honest. Um, all right, next we have, oh, these are scented? Oh, it says scented mini mint. So the, they are mints. <laughs> I was like, it kind of looks like a poker chip. Wow, okay, that is an obnoxious smell. It's pretty minty. Um, so this one's smiling, and this is the cherry one. Iconic, because the cherry limeade, or the sundaes. <laughs> All right, and then our mini. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop it! Okay, we got the mint roller skate. Very cute. By the way, the roller skates are relevant because the car hops are the people that bring your food to your car because it's not actually a sit-down restaurant. Some of them are, but mostly you drive up to a little booth, order your food, and then they bring your food out to you. A lot of times they roller skate. And I always thought that was super cool when I was a kid. All right, this is number 11, so this is a double. Oh no, I got two 17s and 11. Okay, now we're gonna do 10. Uh, so let's see what we got. <laughs> these are so, so funny. And by the way, you can purchase, I mean, at least at the store that I went to, you can purchase these separately. If you're not allowed to at your store, don't harass the employees, please. Like I've worked fast food and sometimes policies are weird. Um, but these are only a dollar each, which I think is pretty fair. Uh, okay, so this is our mint. Are they all just the same smell? They all just smell like mint, but maybe I just have a bad sense of smell. And is, who is that? Like, it's not the cherry. Who is that? Whose man is that? I don't know. All right, but we've gotten three different ones so far. And then number 10 comes with, yes. Okay, so these are actually American Girl doll sized. I think the slushies are actually quite small though. Um, but oh my gosh. So this is a foot long quarter pound coney. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> It would be hilarious to take pictures of them eating that. Like, I would absolutely smash this if it was, like, if I was to scale with the dolls in real life. Like, I would be all over this. Um, I'll have to go get my American Girl dolls so we can compare. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. The next one is number nine. Let's see what we got. So, hopefully we got the lemon. Okay, so we did not get the lemon. We got the red circle. I don't know. But did we get a different scented mint? Oh, he's cheeky. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? All right. And then this one has, oh, oh no. <laughs> Gotta get the scissors. I messed up opening this one. Okay. Please be something rainbow high size. <laughs> okay, so this is a visor. Oh my gosh. So definitely too small for rainbow high. I mean, well, actually that would totally, hold on. We're gonna be a little silly here. Dang, this is thick. Okay. Hold on. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at her. All right. So we have found something useful for the Rainbow High dolls. I was really convinced that the food would be Rainbow High size, but I think the foot long quarter pound coney is just ridiculous, specifically. Is there a screw? They used a screw to screw it in? the giant hot dog that means that the hot dog comes off all right well the visor actually fits quite well uh you just have to cut the back and it's a really tight i mean it's a really good fit but specifically for the junior high dolls but they can get their first job which is really cute all right so that was number nine <laughs> and then this one ah number nine and number nine oh I'm sad. You guys, I was gonna scrap the video because I was like really upset. This is why I hate blind bags. But look, I actually got number seven. I thought that was 17 again, but I was looking through all of these because I was gonna put them on Mercari for like a dollar each. But look, number seven. This is a slushie. Oh my gosh, we are vindicated. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. I just wanted the slushies. Like, okay, this is the guide. I specifically want the slushies, the coney, which I got, the tots, and the drink tray. Um, and I would, I don't really want the gold or the gold in the dark ones. Like, I don't care. I just want, like, the ones that are the most natural. So I'm so excited that I got this. And I think the lid comes off, maybe? No? Oh my gosh. So this is a grape slushie, I guess, which is actually what I got today. So that's kind of cute. Oh, look at it. Look at it. I don't know why I did that horrible voice. It's so cute. And I like that they didn't do a specific like time periods cup because you know they change the cups all the time. This is very like classic. They always have the logo. They always have. Yeah. And it even has like 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> it says like, please throw it away, comments. Oh my gosh. I'm so grateful. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna make the dolls hold these because I don't know where my poster putty is. Ordinarily, when I do doll photography and I need a doll to hold something, I use sticky tack. I call that poster putty. Um, but I don't know where that is because I just moved. So I'm gonna need to find a rubber band. I will be right back. I brought Grace over so that I could show you a size comparison. So this is an American Girl doll. Generally, when Five Surprise stuff doesn't fit my 12-inch dolls or my, like, one six-scale dolls, they'll fit American Girl dolls. But these are a little small for them, too. Uh, so compared to the hand, very small. But they do have big hands. So they're, I don't know. I just think they're like comically too small for American Girl, but maybe I'm wrong. But here's a picture of me with my drink earlier. My drink was not a Route 44 like this is meant to be, but maybe if you use this as like not a Route 44, it works. Oh my gosh, stop looking at me like that, Grace. Um, and I don't have my American Girl accessories right now to compare, but I suspect that they would be a little bigger than this, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is a really good size for them. Um, again, this is it next to her hand. And then the Coney is actually a really good size. So I predict that the Tots will be as well. Um, so these are all the options. So the only food items are the Coney and the Tots. So I'm gonna predict that those are gonna be American Girl sized and then the drink trays are gonna be Rainbow High sized. The visors are Rainbow High sized. Um, the visors are very uniquely Rainbow High sized. They would only fit Rainbow High, probably la -di da not pull-up. Pull-up dolls have really big heads um probably omgs is, no omgs they would definitely fit but like the visors would not fit most dolls. the roller skates wouldn't fit any dolls like they're just really odd size just because of how long they are um yeah so the options um i do wish that if they were going to make the drinks this size, that they made them just a tad bit bigger so that they would work better with American Girl, but um, the Coney is absolutely perfect. This is hilarious. Um, so it works as like an oversized Coney for the Rainbow High Dolls, which is hilarious to me, but it also works as like a fairly normally sized one for American Girl. I wanted to have her hold it, but you can't really flip their hands over, but you know, it's pretty good size. I never know when to unbox these because I'm not really like a blind bag unboxing channel unless it's pertinent to dolls and these are somewhat pertinent to dolls so these are toy mini brands so basically they are you know mini toys that are actually branded um by the same people who have done the sonic happy meal toys so sorry the slushie keeps falling um and I like these a lot I really would like to get the Disney store ones eventually and the food ones are fantastic and since I collect American Girl and Rainbow High, these work for me. But if you only collect one or the other, these don't work super well because some of them... I mean, I guess you could sell your extras on eBay or Mercari or whatever your secondhand site in your country is. But um, th there's like two different sizes of things that they come with, which is strange because the point of mini brands, like the way they're marketed, is that you're supposed to make a little store with them. Like they market a little store, which is really cute actually. But the store scale doesn't match either of the scales that the food goes to. So the food matches with like either a one, one six scale or possibly a one third scale. But, and American Girl kind of fits one third scale stuff because their, um, their dolls me are meant to be like 10 years old, so they're shorter. Um, so they're kind of like one third. But the stores that they market, which are really cute, by the way, like they sell little supermarkets for you to display your toy your mini brands in. Those are like little as pet shop or like calico critter size, but none of the food is. It's very odd. I really wish, um... They could do, and it's weird though, maybe I'm just not familiar enough with the brand because the Sonic ones actually say that they're Mega Mini brands. Where does it say it? Mega Mini. So maybe they are marketed separately and I've just missed the memo on that. And the Mega Minis are the one third scale ones and then the normal ones are the one third scale, or sorry, the one six scale ones. I don't know. By the way, the, the scale terms that I'm using, because those aren't super familiar um, to everyone, it just means like how far from like your height so rainbow high dolls are like one sixth of your proportions essentially uh obviously stylized though okay so these are so funny to me i love the way they open so let's get them out of the box let's open this pink one first <laughs> okay 
So we got one of the Spongebob meme figures. I'd rather just have like actual Spongebob figures, but these are really cute actually because you can unbox the toy if you want to, um, which I find really cute. Um, and then there's the checklist, so I'm gonna leave it as a surprise actually. I feel like I must have already been, oh cute! Oh my god, I love that. These are, <laughs> this is a Rainbow Corns one. This is actually quite small, so these are pretty well sized for Barbie so far. Barbie being like any fashion doll. <laughs> Most fashion dolls, I should say. Um, okay, so we got a bunch of balloons. Of course, most of these are Zuru branded things because Zuru makes five surprise, but they do actually get other licenses sometimes. Um, cute. These are so fun. These inspire me so much to do like a doll series or like decorate my dollhouses and stuff. Okay, so this is, oh, a Sparkle Girl's Pony. Okay, I love this one. <gasps> Ooh, yes, that's so cute. Oh my God. Yeah, okay, so this is the best one I've ever gotten. This is great. The Rainbow Corns one is great too, but I wish there was actually a Rainbow Corn, like, out of the box that you could get. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's a fidget cube. So this is American Girl sized, so I, I will show you in a minute what I mean by that. But, like, this is clearly... Well, actually, no. You know what? I'm wrong. Once you want... Okay, the packaging is huge, which is what's throwing me off. These, this is definitely Barbie sized. Well, not Barbie sized. Rainbow High sized. Rainbow High dolls can use items that are a little bit bigger. I mean, obviously you can use whatever size item that you want, but Rainbow High can use items that generally would look kind of enormous and weird with Barbie because they have such big heads. So like the Sonic drink would never work for a Barbie. It is way too big. But because Rainbow High dolls have absolutely enormous heads, it kind of works. Um, and... You can, if you compare a Rainbow High head to an American Girl doll head, they're not that far off from each other, so kind of explains that. All right, so, and these, um, I don't know if they're for sale across all Targets, but I will say that every Target that I've been to so far has a ton of mini brand stuff on sale uh, right now because they're clearing out for the new sets, and mini brands are cool. Like, I think they're really neat, and I think um, they're really fun for... Specifically, people who are into dolls, they're really exciting, but these are popular completely absent of doll collectors, which I find so fascinating, because you'd think these would be marketed specifically towards doll collectors, but they're really not. They're meant to be doing what Shopkins did, but with, like, realistic stuff, and Shopkins does real littles, too. Um, all right, let's see. Oh! Pool maker? So... There's nothing in here, I don't think, unfortunately. That's a shame, because that would be so cool to have the little sewing machine. Um, this would be very Calico Critter-sized, actually. Um, oh, there is something in there, but I, I don't want to ruin the box trying to get it out, because it might just be, like, stuffing. And it's really not budging. Um, yeah, it looks like there's nothing in there, but I will try off-camera. Um, it's cute regardless, though. This is the kind of thing that when I worked at Ollie's, we had, like, a hundred of this. <laughs> Not that specific one, but that brand for sure. Um, okay, and then this is, oh my god, <laughs> this is a mini Build-A-Bear Workshop st um, stuffed animal maker. So again, this is definitely like more Calico Critters or Little's Pet Shop sized. These two are. Um, so if you collect a million different brands like I do, you are in luck, but otherwise it's kind of iffy. Um, so we have Metal Machines, also by Zuru. Cute. Very cute. I love that you can get this out. I'm, I'm probably going to get this one out, actually. Because um, I don't have a specific allegiance to this brand, but it's a mini toy car. It's adorable. Um, okay, and then... I love that they didn't just do, like... They could have done this, but without the window packaging, and just called it a day. Kind of like what I think is going on here. But they don't do that. They actually create the full toy inside, which is so cool. Um, okay, here we have... Like this. This is just a board game, and I don't think it's in here. So this is, like, really easy and much cheaper to make. And they don't seem to just do that. Yeah, see, so there's just stuffing in there, which is the same thing as the sewing machine from what I saw. Um, which is fine. Um, as long as they're not all like this, I don't mind. So this is a Spin Master game, actually. So Spin Master products can come in as well to the mini brands universe. All right, and then here we have <gasps> Stimpy from Ren and Stimpy. Okay, that's actually awesome. Cool. I've never seen the toy that that is based off of, but I love that. Um, Alright, so that is all of our mini brands toys. So now I'm going to set them up with the Rainbow High dolls so that you can get a sense of scale with them. So if you happen to collect Rainbow High or Barbies specifically, 
the toy mini brands are a great option. These are perfectly sized and there's a lot of different things you can do with these, right? They're great for photography. You could have like a little birthday party or like a kid's room or a collector, stuff like that. Um, and there's these Disney store ones that are glorious. There's like Disney classic dolls and stuff that you can actually unbox and everything. It's so cool. Um, I'm loving the Sparkle Girls Pony. That is amazing. Amazing. And I know there's other um, competitors to the toy mini brands. There's like World's Smallest, which I would love to have. Um, but these are just so perfectly to scale for Rainbow High. I'm very impressed. I'm going to go ahead and assume that these two specifically um, in real life are much larger. So these are probably more of like a 1 12th scale, if I had to guess, or like a 1 8th scale. Um, but other than that, like these are really solid. I really wish there was actually a mini Rainbow Corn. I want that bad. Um, and then the Fidget Cube actually... Oh, it has, like, the information about the real toy. That's so cool. And, like, look, you can see the... Do you call this a toy? I guess they're called fidget toys, right? But they're... They have a therapeutic purpose. Sorry I cut away. I wanted to get the fidget cube out. So this is the fidget cube. It doesn't actually function at all. Uh, that's pretty cute. I don't know anything about these. I've never held one in my hand, but I've seen them at the store before. Um, and they're actually perfectly sized for Rainbow High Hands. So that's pretty nifty. And if you are more of a Barbie person, here's a Barbie doll for scale. Um, Barbie dolls just have smaller heads, so the constraints of what items actually work are, like, a bit lower, you know? But it's also a good size for them. I'm just never going to get her to hold that in a million years. Very cute. Even with rubber bands, it is difficult sometimes. Um, and then, just for fun, obviously the glizzy is way too big. The foot-long quarter-pound coney, and then you see what I mean? Like, so Barbie dolls are actually taller than Rainbow High dolls, but because they have more realistically sized heads, this is ridiculous next to them versus with the Rainbow High dolls. It's actually fairly decent. Um, I will say, though, that the Rainbow Corn's packaging, because I received some of those from, are they by Zuru? Yeah, they are, um, from Zuru last year. Um, the packaging for these is enormous, so they would probably be bigger than this. So I think these three items are actually pretty, um, they're too small, but it's okay. Oh, also I got this out of the box. How cute is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. I would like to get the horse out of the box too. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, just cause I will definitely enjoy this more in my collection. Um, and for my dolls. Oh, there's like a plastic thing attached. Okay. I got it. Um, so this is the horse out of the box, the unicorn. Very cute. Broke my nail a little bit, so sorry about my thumb. Very cute. So this is how it's held in its packaging. So there's like this weird part, but other than that, it's really solid. Um, and it's a really good size to be a My Little Pony for them. Um, when you don't consider their head, like when you consider the rest of their proportions, this is a great size. Um, same with the toy car. Like it's a it's a great size, but if you were to compare a toy car to your head versus the Rainbow High Doll's head, it would be very, very different. So, yeah. I love how Hallie still has her hands in position to be holding the full-on quarter pound coney, but it kept falling, so I took it out of her hands. There you go. <laughs> Hallie's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna need to eat this. This is great. Um, so overall, I'm pretty happy with all of this. I was very sad before I figured out that I actually did get the slushy because I had a bunch of doubles of 17, so I just assumed this was one, but this was actually seven, so I'm so grateful because I specifically wanted this. Like, the slushies were the thing that I wanted. Um, I would also really like the tots so that I could be like, give me some of your tots. Um, these, they're cute and the wheels actually work, which is fun, but like this, no, like I don't. It's not even a keychain. Like, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with this. Um, also, I want to say, I haven't bought Sonic Kids Meals in a while. I'm not above getting kids meals or anything, but um, I just haven't. They haven't had anything super interesting to me. Um, but when I was a kid, they had this group of mascots that were really cool. Um, and it seems like they're all dead. Um, McDonald's has done the same thing, where only Ronald McDonald occasionally shows up, and, the, and this creepy Minions-looking... Happy Meal Box. But, like, what happened to Grimace? What happened to the Hamburglar? Where are they? And when I worked at McDonald's, I wanted to get to the bottom of this, but I only ever saw one of them. I saw the Hamburglar on, like, some thing we did for work. Like, it was on this poster that was on the wall. There was a tiny picture of the Hamburglar, and it was probably talking about people stealing or something. I have no idea. 
Um, I don't remember. I have a picture of it somewhere. But that was all I saw. In the, like, six months that I worked for McDonald's, I never saw Grimace. Where are they hiding him? And where are they hiding the Wacky Pack boys? They weren't all boys. But I don't remember what they were called. But what happened? Where'd they go? They're special to me. I had little figures of them that had magnetic feet. And you could put them on, like skateboards and scooters and then there were also like toys of their pets and one of them had a dog named coney like what happened answer answer for this like what is this unacceptable oh and the tot guys what happened like these that's not him there used to be this whole set of tots i hate this like um coffee shopification of all fast food places the fun suckers the fun police have taken everything away oh i wanted to look at the the list here to see what all the options are for series two i guess series two was the one that i had before i thought it was series one but perhaps i am wrong Ooh, rainbow fit or robo fish sorry i don't know why i said rainbow fish Ooh, and the care bears would be cool too and there's a golden fidget cube of course um oh i got an ultra rare with the oh my god i want that <laughs> That is so ridiculous. So I guess I got an ultra rare. That's nice. Um, I wish there was rainbow corn in it. Um, glow in the dark. The Care Bears would be nice. Like, I think the Care Bears are cool. But I would prefer little... I mean, plushies would be ridiculous. But, like, figures of the plushies. Um, the Crayola packs would be amazing. I really like those. Okay, so you can get these mini brands. Oh, and there's Sparkle Girls dolls, too. <gasps> and the car and JoJo Siwa dolls. Okay, and then down here, some pets alive, and another robo fish. Okay, so if I end up with more of these because they are on clearance, I know what I'm hoping for. Okay, I would love the Dora backpack too. That's hilarious. Um, there's Shimmer and Shine dolls. <gasps> okay, those are great. I think Ren and Stimpy are the best ones out of this um, Nickelodeon set, but like this is so cute. <gasps> Wait, is that Ickis? Oh, <gasps> look, Ickis is one of them. Oh, I wish that there was a um. The other two that would be cool oblina would be amazing um the rubik's cubes are amazing would definitely love those and that's really cute um tag tags but you don't get the skateboards i would want the skateboards um and then board games mostly boring right because it's literally just box um these are where it's at i oh the elder bears that's hilarious oh my god that's really cute see they're doing figures of the plushies here so why not do it for rainbow corns is that a boogie board is that what that is? Okay, I really, really hope I can get these crayons and stuff. This is hilarious. None of them are crayons, but I meant like Crayola stuff. Like the chalk. That's really cute. Really, really cute. Um, hoverboards are definitely going to be too small. Collect them all. I don't want to collect them all. Just specific ones. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. I know this one was a bit um, less formal than the usual ones, but I hope it was still enjoyable. I am very pleased with these visors, actually, and the toy mini brands I'm very impressed by. I just picked them up because I was already at Target, and I saw that they were on sale, and I was like, I, I use these, I like these, so I'll pick up a few. I'm not gonna go out of my way to collect them or anything, but they're very useful for setting up dollhouses and setting up little sets, which I love doing, so... I'm um, very excited about adding these to my little arsenal. I need to come up with an organization strategy for my dollhouse stuff, which would be a very exciting video, actually, um, because I've been just collecting dollhouse stuff over the past, you know, 10 years, um, and I very rarely get to use any of it, so I've just been, like, pack ratting. I've been gathering things, my gathering instinct. Um, so I have, like, a ton of dollhouse miniatures, but I need to organize them so that I can actually start using them because now I have space for dollhouses. Speaking of which, um, I have two living rooms in my house and me and Brett don't really have an interest in having two living rooms. So I might be building a dollhouse empire in the second living room. We'll see. Only in part of it. I'm not going to take over the whole second living room. Because I'm, I'm, I'm like, Brett, you should use the second living room for your office. That would be really cool and huge. And he's like, but I like it in the bedroom. And I'm like, are you sure? Because it would be cool. I don't know. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and, um, yeah, if you have those Disney mini brands, like, let me know what you think. Are there a lot of weird ones that you don't like? Like, in this case, all of these are at least useful, like, there weren't any that were just awful, or, like, way too big or anything, but, like, stuff like this, where it's just, like, come on, that's a piece of cardboard. Um, but these are super cute. These are so cute. 
I really, really like the pony. Okay, thank you so much for watching for all this time. Bye!